How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. We're back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be working on my buffer. I got it set here behind me. Um, you see me make the knife. I did a small review on the on the buffer. And uh, I, after using it for a while, now I can tell you a little more about the buffer itself. This machine, if I was going to rate it between, uh, you know, zero and five stars, I would give it four because I really like the buffer. I mean, that's just the way I feel. I couldn't stop the machine. The machine runs nice and quiet, runs really smooth. Now, I'm not so sure that I would give the, uh, the buffing wheels from Harvard Freight, uh, a real high score because I think you could get a lot better buffing wheels but you know if you need something quick and cheap uh, they're okay they work because I did the knife with it and it turned out really well so today I'm gonna be working on a box I'm gonna put it inside of a box uh, the buffer uh, because one thing the you know everything's going all over everything up here like the the off the, the your polishing compound and just all kind of stuff is just flying around in there and I got a motor back here in the back that goes to the bandsaw uh, I want to try to keep it a little clean so I'm going to be working on a box to put this uh, buffer in and uh, you know I notice I want to try to keep the wheels covered up because I do a lot of um, grinding in here and welding and that type of stuff and you know, I look around, even, even on my workbenches and stuff, there's little metal particles everywhere. And I suppose it's from a lot of the grinding. Well, if I get them little metal particles on them buffing wheels, um, it's probably going to scratch my metal. So, I found that I just threw a piece of paper towel over them for right now to keep them clean, to keep them from getting dusty. But I think what I would use, and I'm trying to get a hold of a couple of them, uh, maybe at your uh, local drugstore or something, hair nets, uh, the blue uh, hair net. I think I'm going to try to get a hold of some of them, and then I can just stretch them over top of the wheel, because they got an elastic on the inside of them. So I thought maybe that would be something good to put over the wheels. You know, you probably could even take something, you know, make something too out of maybe an old t-shirt or something just to put over top the wheels. And like I said, you just want to keep the, the small metal particles that we're using grinding in here. And there's a lot of them in my garage. <clears throat> you, I can see them all over the floor. They're everywhere, you know. So, you know, we want to try to keep our wheels clean. I'm going to build a box for the top of it to keep everything from shooting out. And then I'm going to put a little um, shelf just above it, just, to, just on top of it. So I can put my polishing compound up there. And that will keep everything right here in this little area. I don't know if you guys watched the video on my workbench. This workbench can be moved around so easily. I can take it. I can move it anywhere I want it to. It's very heavy. It's sturdy. Got the casters on it. And I've been mounting these machines on top of here. And for my small garage... This thing is, this bench is perfect. Because I can put it over there against the wall, and when I want it, I can bring it back out in the middle of the floor, and I can walk all the way around it and work on each machine. Now it has its own plug in. I have it wired up on the inside, and it has its own plug in. And all these receptacles, there's receptacles down inside here that all the plug ins go down in there and plug in. So it all runs by itself. I only have one cord stretched across the floor. Let's get to making this buffer box, man. Let me get going here. Uh, we got the wood here setting. This is one. Of, this is just some old wood that I had in the barn. Uh, I'm gonna use it to build the box for the the buffer. Okay. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these old pallet boards, make sure there's no nails in it, and I'm gonna strip it down. I'm gonna cut some strips off of it. Bump three quarters of an inch thick. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is find out just about how wide I want this box. 
I won't be able to take the wheel off. So you know you have your bolts, your spacer, and your wheel here. Those have to go through that box. So I'm going to make it maybe a couple inches wider on both sides. I got to make sure that my it will fit on here. I'm going to measure the so the spacer is only a half inch so I want I'll tell you what maybe I'll just cut them out so let's make the box we'll make it 20 inches wide and about let's say 11 inches high 11 by 20 is what will build that box okay we're just been marking out some of our plates that we're going to be using on it on this uh, plywood, I'm we'll going to go ahead and start cutting them out. Okay, we got a bunch of our pieces cut and we cut a bunch of these little ones just to go around the outside edge. Make sure. Now I always like to glue everything. You guys see most of my videos, I try to glue it. Do a little bit of glue and that way it kind of holds it together better. And uh, I'm going to build the outside box right now. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to be doing right now is just glue the box together and then we'll glue the back on it. And then we'll do whatever we're going to do to the top of it to make us a little, <clears throat> some type of a shelf. I'm not really good at the woodworking, but I do my best. Just gonna keep doing this do the other one and then I'll get the sides I gotta cut the sides yet okay <clears throat> what we did here is we measured our wheel the height and back end how far it is all we're gonna do is we cut it out with a jigsaw all I'm gonna do is trace it on the next one and I should have pretty much an identical copy of it and I'm just using a jigsaw to cut this out I'm not uh, worried too much about what it looks like as long as it does the job so now this is the top of the box and you can see where I cut this out that's to be able to place your wheel in there I'm not so sure I like how far this sticks out so what I'm going to do as I'm going to mark this, I'm going to take a few inches off of it. Uh, I'm going to take about three inches off of it right in here. And that way I'll be able to see the top of the wheel better because it will be back in there. And I'll still have a little bit of room up here to make me a little, uh, just a little shelf so I can put my stuff up on the top. So I'm thinking three inches about right in here should do it. If not, we'll cut more off. Now this is <clears throat> this is kind of what I'm shooting for. I'd be able to buff on the wheels and all the debris and stuff that goes off of these wheels like this whatever the wheels are made out of the cloth will stay inside there and I don't think I want to try to keep it off my other machine so I cut the top a little bit you seen that that's going to make it easier to get in here and buff and then we'll drill a hole in the back to put the cord through so the cords out of the way uh, we may take just a little bit more off this, I don't know yet, but I'm going to get it set up, and then if I want to take more, I can take more. And then we're just going to take some of these one buys, and we're going to trim the top with these one buys, and it'll kind of make us a little um, shelf up here to put our buffing compounds. So that's what we got so far. 
All right, what I'm working on now is I just cut some more of this one by, and I'm going right around the top of it. That way we can lay our wax down in here and it won't fall off. Uh, lay it right on top as another shelf, which gives me more storage. So, and more storage in my garage is what I need. So, that should work out fine. I'm going to go ahead and get that put down on there. We drilled a little hole here in the back for the extension cord, for the cord that goes to the buffer. Got it drilled out. Now I'm just going to take a sander. I'm going to sand over it and clean it up a little bit. The only thing left to this thing is drilling the holes where it bolts down to the counter or to the workbench. So we're not going to do that right yet. We're going to wait until we go ahead. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit of paint on this thing and then uh, let it dry and then we'll put it up there and get our holes marked out and get it mounted down. I went ahead and left this top to where it was. I think it's going to be just fine. So we're just going to go ahead and get some paint on this thing. I just got some black paint. I'm going to shoot it down real quick just to make it look pretty decent. Look like part of the grinder, you know, the buffer. Okay, I just wanted to give you guys a little close-up of the box that I built for my buffer. As you can see, everything, you know, we can put our compounds up here. Get our wrenches to take the wheels on and off. Maybe some extra pads set up on there. It's set up pretty good, I think. Everything's enclosed, and I don't have all that going back into that motor now. Should work out pretty good. The buffing box all finished now. We've got it painted up. I think it turned out really good. Just what I wanted. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.